Now, if you were watching my last video, I told you not to do something. I told you there's something very bad in this game. Uh, something very naughty naughty. Oh, I should have explained these items a bit more. I'll, I'll do that in the next reel thing. So you can buy that pistol if you really, if you, you won't have enough money, but if you really wanted to. But instead, let's just buy about 60 or so shurikens. I would buy 70 if you're a bad shot. Um, just to make absolutely sure. But yeah, we are going to sort of sequence break. I'm not sure how... It's like a developer intended sequence break, I guess. But if you do this, there will be lots of other kinds of gating. Um, so you can't like just skip this part of the game. Like you do have to, you do have to come back. It's not, I mean, there might be some speed one way to do things, but there's things like the sigils that you just genuinely do need. So get about 60 to 70 shurikens, come up here. This is Nidhogg. He is a rude boy. And his attacks deal like 60 damage, not 60, 20 damage if they hit you, and you'll almost always be hit twice, so they'll do about 40 damage each time they hit you. Fortunately, he's a very, he's a completely pattern based boss. As long as you do what I'm doing now, um, and you don't drop the pattern, he will do no damage to you. Now, if you get hit by the first one of those things, like I said, you'll get hit by both. So, you can pretty much take one hit with your current amount of HP. He's kind of supposed to be a beef gate. Oh. Oh, see, I actually dodged the second one, which I have never successfully done that before. I uh, expect to get hit by both. It's kind of like... I think I retried this fight five or six times when I was streaming this. Which, by the way, I have a full stream. I don't recommend watching the stream as a walkthrough because I did the sequence break and it's really dangerous. Um, but if you want to watch that more for entertainment purposes, uh, I do have a full... I do. I did stream my first playthrough. Which is not actually complete as of me recording this. But it might be by the time that you watch it. Who knows? It is a mystery. As you can see, he takes a lot of hits, and uh oh. Okay, good. <laughs> he will still deal like 20 damage if you hit him while he's swooping down there, by the way. There you go! See, as you can see, I only used uh, about 50 of my shuriken, but we open this up. Also, um, I did a very naughty thing. I went in here. Don't go in here. Immediately say, it, whenever you do beat any boss, just immediately leave. Don't even, if there's a treasure chest after beating the boss, Ignore it. There was- my dad was over in the corner, by the way. I don't know if you saw that. Oh wait, let's save this as its own file. Um... I had actually forgotten he's here. You, you occasionally see your dad... ...in this game. Which is the protagonist of the first La Mulana, for those... ...not aware of the, uh... ...story. Down here, Pikachu. So... After you've saved... ...you can come back in here. And... This is Icefire Treetop. Is Dad still going to be here? Oh yeah, because we didn't disrupt him. So this is an interesting place, because you can actually swim through this lava, um, and you can go through here before you're supposed to be able to go through lava, if you're willing to take some damage, and there is a save point there, which I forget if 60 HP, I think you might need 92 HP uh, instead of 64 to be able to survive that, or 96 HP. Um, but I'm just going to show you the most major aspect of this sequence break. It's right in here. And it's unbelievably easy to get this item. Oh my gosh, guys. I'm out of weights. I'm out of weights of all things. You got any weights? Y'all got any of them weights? Okay, so that lava will basically instantly kill you. So this area, like I said, insanely dangerous. I can't believe it didn't have... <laughs> forgot I needed a weight. Expect to die a lot if you do this route. Like I said, it really is dangerous, and the item I'm about to get opens up a lot of cool stuff to you, but it also opens up a lot of passageways that you can go and eventually get stuck in. Not like stuck stuck, but you'll be like, oh, how do I do this? And the way is that you stop sequence breaking and you play the game like you're supposed to. Which I feel is a little, as a Metroidvania, I, I, I kind of feel... <laughs> I do feel a little bit slighted that I could do all this cool stuff, but then you can't do, you can't really break the sequence. You just kind of explore a lot of new areas that you're not supposed to be in, which is still cool, but 
it's not as completely non-linear as you might expect from being able to so easily break the sequence here. But it's just supposed to be a beef gate that makes you scared and makes you leave. So you can swim in that lava, and if you are very quick, uh, I think you might need 96 HP, so one more orb. Um, but you can swim through that, and um, there is a save point almost immediately after. So yeah, basic chest, basic chest. What's inside? The map? Oh no! Grapple Claw! So the Grapple Claw is a very, very nice item, and I'm gonna land in poison. Um, the Grapple Claw lets you grab onto walls, and um, if the walls are like mirror polished or like shiny, you can actually, those are like round pillars, you can actually move around them. I wonder if I have enough skill to survive here. Oh, no I don't. <laughs> it's actually a dev room. I, I'll have a de different video up for how to get to the dev room. But there's a dev room over to the left there. You know, I'm curious if I can, with this much health, can I get to that thing? Because that's another sequence break-ish. Like, it lets you continue the sequence break, basically. Again, one last time I will stress that this is a real good way to get lost and, like, think that you can go to a place because you have the claws, but you forget that you're not supposed to have the claws. I mean, maybe it wouldn't be so bad if you're aware that it was a sequence break, but I was not. And I got... It was, it was real rough. I think I spent four or five hours in my stream out of sequence. I was having fun, but I was like, dang, this game is really hard! Like, it's like... And then I, I find that I've been sequence breaking for hours, and I was like, oh. So I took a hit, so I'm not sure I'll even be able to live, even if it was possible. Okay, I definitely won't be able to, but... Dang. Rude. Actually, you know what? Maybe I can get experience and heal here. I can. So, is so anything that shines kind of like this and has like a reflectiveness, so you can move around it. So what you can actually do while you're busy sequence breaking here, oh, I won't show it, but there's, there's, you can climb across the pillars over to the right. I'm only not going to show that because I want to show you how to do something even more fun. You can go through here and just barely live! Now, oh, crap. Uh, you need to be super careful, but just to the left there, there is in fact a save point that you can go to and fast travel to, in fact. So, once you get to that fast travel save point, you are in the gravy. That's, um... Alright, you can go up here. This is a very valuable little shortcut here, by the way. Uh, I missed it my first uh, couple of goes through in that room. Okay, let me show you what's on the other, on the right side. Ice Fire Treetop. The enemies there are pretty tough, and you're really supposed to have, like, some damage up items and various other crap. But it's fun to explore, isn't it? So what you can do... Damn it. What you can do is... No, stay dead. Up here. Alright, you gotta press up when using the grapple thing. It's kind of weird. You can go all the way over here. Which, <laughs> again, we're not supposed to be here. And there is not a save point over here, if I recall correctly. There is murderous squids, so that's nice. But yeah, there's a lot of stuff you can do and explore around here. But uh, certain things you're not going to be able to get because you're missing certain items that you really should have. Like, there's something that'll let me swim down faster, I'm assuming, because I can't get down there right now. And plus, I'll take constant damage. And as you can see, the enemies do a lot more damage. So, if you're brave... That's how to get started on a sequence break. You can do all kinds of stuff out of sequence. Um, you can meet new enemies. You can unlock a fair amount of fast travel points, which will be useful once you can properly investigate an area. But um, if you get lost for several hours like I did, you were warned, naughty child. You were warned. 